In 1897, lawyer turned serial entrepreneur Ardashir Godrej and his brother set up a small lock company since good locks were hard to come by. They succeeded at locksmithing after failing in their venture into handmade medical devices. In the 1900s, their business grew and they ventured into soaps, furniture, hair care, and even making ballot boxes for elections. In the 1990s, they entered into real estate, and there's been no looking back for them. Now the group is known for a huge and diversified range of products, from soaps to real estate to home electronics. Four generations of the Godrich family have been handling the business and have taken it to huge heights. Now the 127-year-old business is going to be split among two family factions. Why is that? Well, the Godrich family says that the division is an ownership realignment of their shareholdings in the Godrich companies. They say that the realignment has been arrived at in a respectful and mindful way to maintain harmony and to better align ownership in acknowledgement of differing visions of the Godrich family members. They say this will help maximize strategic direction, focus and agility and will accelerate the process of creating long-term value for shareholders and all other stakeholders. So what happens now? Basically the Godrich group is divided into two factions. One is the Godrich Enterprises group which will be inherited by Jamshed Godrich and Smita Krishna Godrich and the Godrich Industries group which will be inherited by Adi and Nader Godrich. Godrich Enterprises includes Godrich and Boyce and their affiliates which are present across multiple industries including aerospace, aviation, defense, engines, construction, software and other infrastructure. This will be controlled by Jamshed Godrej and Nairika Holkar who is the executive director and the daughter of Smita Krishna Godrej and their immediate families. Godrej Industries Group includes their listed companies like Godrej Industries Consumer Products Properties and Aztec Life Sciences. This will be controlled by Adi and Nader Godrej and their immediate families. If you're confused as to who's who in the Godrej family tree, let's quickly break it down for you. The company was started by Ardashir Godrej and his brother Pirod Shah Godrej. Ardashir Godrej died childless, so Pirod Shah Godrej's sons Burjor, Sorab, Dosa, and Nawal succeeded him. Sorab didn't have kids, so the group was then inherited by Burjor's children Adi and Nader, Dosa's children Rishad, Nawal's children Jamshid and Smita. Rishad, who also holds a stake in Godrej and Boyce, is childless, so the next-gen Godrej family is now these ten members. Adi's children Tanya, Nisaba, and Pirod Shah. Nader's children Sorab, Burjis, and Hormazad. Jamshid's children Raika and Navroz, and Smita Krishna's children Freyan and Nairika. Despite this long history and a significant number of family members, the clean split of assets has drawn appreciation from India Inc. As Harsh Goenka says, the settlement has been locked with dignity and with grace.